Hello there, my fellow researchers in the ways of the Xenos, and welcome to the fifth and final episode from my Rackgall miniseries. Who would have guessed that a minor Xenos race had five episodes worth of lore about them? Funny thing is, these guys probably have more background on them than every other minor race of 40k put together. Either way, today I wanted to talk to you about the abilities of the Rakgol Techno Shamans, and maybe more interestingly, the warships of their race. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? Though the Rakgol are a horrifying race, mercifully very few of their kind are gifted in the ways of the Psyker. In fact, several xenographers of the Coronas Expanse have denied that the Rakgol have any psychic abilities at all. In spite of these claims, Rakgol raids are sometimes led by terrifying specimens, capable of wielding logic-defying powers. These Xenocycers are termed Techno-Shamans, as their particular abilities enable them to fuse their bodies with technology merge seemingly disparate machines into coherent and functional systems, and even stalk the warp so they can achieve their unknowable goals. Techno-shamans are also characterized by these unusual energy flows that arc around them. These foul energies often travel between and through unusual cybernetic implants. A few sources, including the infamous explorator Abraxes, have claimed that these odd, often crystalline artifacts are the source of the Techno Shaman's powers. Inquisitors and tech priests alike offer astronomical bounties for the capture of even one of these legendary monsters alive. The most common powers utilized by the Rack Goal include Distort Function. After a Rakgol attack, vessels are seldom in adequate condition for repair. Rather, the ships are often scrapped and various components used for salvage. Rumors circulate that the machine spirits in some of the salvage components have begun to share stories of the Rakgol. Only the explorators who have interacted with the damaged devices know the truth of this matter, but stories state that Rakgol psychers can combine seemingly mundane devices into deadly killing machines. So be aware of your toaster turning on you. Flay Reality It is clear that many psychers perceive reality differently to those who lack psychic talent. Among the Rack Goal, where many members perceive the world through cybernetic implants or radiation spawned mutation, the baseline for perceptions is decidedly variable. Even more horrifying is the effect of the Rack Goal Psyker overlaying its dread perception onto the world around it, and those unfortunate enough to be caught within the blast can only watch in abject terror as reality itself frays and tatters. Objects and individuals within the blast begin to break apart in incomprehensible ways, and madness seems the only way to escape from this realm of absolute terror. Open the Mind's Eye Rakgol are known to be horrific, but their techno-shamans display abilities that go far beyond mundane fear. Rather than attempting to overcome foes with finesse and delicacy, they often use brute terror, unleashing the raw fury of the warp to rend their opponent's minds apart. Reap the Flesh The Red Goal go to extremes when they overcome their opponent. Vessels are gutted, bodies are left in shambles, and supplies are destroyed. Techno shamans are seldom satisfied with merely beating a foe, and survivors claim that these psychers may have a psychokinetic attack that literally tears the skin from their victims. Seize the Machine Techno shamans may have an unholy affinity for technological devices. Even those guided by a machine spirit may fall prey to their corruptive advances. It is unclear if this is due to the strange and forbidding technology that they integrate into their bodies, or some other eldritch source of power. However, it is certain that these psychers are often capable of exploiting this affinity in ways that are inordinately destructive to those they face. 
Those who have attempted to use automated defenses against the rack goal have learned their folly, often in an explosive fashion. If a machine spirit typically automates the device, this technique immediately destroys the spirit and the device falls silent. Telekinetic Sledge The rack goal are a species that is very little known for subtlety. Their combat actions are generally every bit as direct as they are savage. At least some of their confirmed psychic abilities reflect this. Techno shamans are reportedly to savagely beat their foes with raw bursts of telekinetic force, the blasts being invisible except for the waves of gore they carry. It is unclear if the Rakgol have recently discovered warp travel by scavenging starships from other starfaring races, or if they might be the survivors of an advanced or dying race. As their vessels are best characterized by haphazard repairs and an uneven appearance, both opinions seem justified. In either case, their vessels share a common core architecture. The cylindrical core, balanced upon a crude fission-powered reaction drive, extends the length of the ship. Asymmetric extensions run fore and aft of the core in line with it. Short fins extend irregularly from the hull. These vessels are extensively decorated with crude symbols, randomly placed armor plates, and a broad range of defensive turrets. Fortunately for their potential victims, the fission drives that they use are unshielded. This likely subjects the crew to unimaginable levels of radiation, but does offer a tremendous benefit for targeted ships. Their engines glow brightly on any aspects. Word has spread that the best defense against a rack goal attack may be to run away at the first sign of an engine signature. Analyses of ships that have fallen prey to the rack goal are remarkably consistent. The remains of the ships are seldom more than scavenged hulks. Any salvageable equipment is missing, and the bodies of the crew are either completely missing or so badly damaged as to be unidentifiable. The war vessels of the Rakgol are seemingly primitive compared to those of the Imperium. Crude amalgamations of armor plating and other systems resembling fins or the barbs of horned insects. All of them are covered with many weapon spines clustered around a central, elongated core containing propulsion and navigation systems. Rakgol starship classes include The Marauder Marauders are the given name to the most common class of Rakgol ship, sharing the name with the Rakgol warrior cast. Given that no two are exactly the same, they are similar enough in size and performance to be grouped together into a broad classification. All Marauders seem to be haphazardly constructed with little regard for layout or comfort of crew. They are all generally brutal void craft that are overgunned and have impressive amounts of speed thanks to their fission pulse drives. However, though they are quite fast, they are slow to maneuver, and savvy captains are known to have exploited this to win the day. The Butcher Very rarely found alone, the Butcher is used on the rare occasions when the Rack Goal attack planetary targets. While capable of assisting in combat, these starships are relatively poorly armed and lightly armored. Their slow speed and lack of maneuverability amplifies the issue. In combat, they prefer to stand away from the main fight and inundate their opposition with swarms of attack craft and boarding torpedoes. Once opposition is eliminated, they enter low orbit over a target world, and then mercilessly pound targets with warhead swarms while launching waves of attack craft. The Mauler Less common than other Rakgol escort craft, the Mauler-class frigates are still far more commonly seen than any lone explorer would like. These vessels vary, often dramatically, in their precise secondary armaments, defenses, and appearance. They are, however, distinguished by their primary weapon, which takes the form of clusters of torpedo tubes. These tubes are almost always loaded with boarding torpedoes, offering another method for the vicious rack goal to enter into direct melee with their prey. 
Like other smaller Rakgol warships, Mollers generally travel with the support of other vessels. In these cases, the vessels begin firing salvo after salvo of torpedoes towards their victim, the very instant they enter into range. The Mangler Mangler vessels are full-sized Rakgol warships. These mercifully rare starships are generally found accompanied by at least one to three butchers or maulers. In a few rare instances, manglers have led even larger squadrons. The examples which have been identified share a common core design and armament, but can vary significantly in their architecture. This may be due to extensive repairs, or may indicate that they were designed by different artisans. Thus far, only manglers are large enough to mount Rakgol lance weapons. Rakgol starship weaponry tends towards macro batteries firing swarms of warheads or unwieldy lance weaponry. The most common weapons found aboard Rakgol warships include The Howler Cannons these weapons were nicknamed by the survivors of Rakgol attacks, who described the sound of their shells impacting on a void ship's hull as an unrelenting howl. Howler cannon batteries fire massive and brutal barrages of ordnance to overwhelm their targets with sheer volumes of fire. The Roarer Beam These gigantic beam weapon clusters seem to run the entire length of the largest Rakgol warships. They fire rad beams that voraciously eat away through the toughest armor. Clanger Torpedo Tubes These tubes are capable of firing two torpedoes in each salvo. They are always loaded with boarding torpedoes, which are functionally identical to those used by the Imperials. The Raider Landing Bay During combat, these bays are completely open to the void. Docked assault craft are each attached to an airlock, which is used to load the vessels. In non-combat situations, massive doors are closed to seal off the bay compartment, so that the area may be used to conduct repairs or maintenance. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the rack goal for this final episode. What are your thoughts about these aliens? Let me know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects